Three mistakes 90% of tradies make when they're quoting a job. First of all, they go to site, they look at the job, they work out how long it's gonna take, and just say they're 40 bucks an hour. If, it's gonna, if, it, if they think there's 100 hours in the job, they'll go 100 times 40, that's 4,000 bucks. Then they'll work out their materials. If they think there's 600 bucks in the job for materials, they'll go, okay, 4,000 for labor, 600 for materials, that's my price. 4,600 plus GST, that's if they're registered for GST. And that's their price, right? So they're swapping time for money. That is how you do not quote a job, right? When you quote a job, you gotta find, you gotta have a fixed price, but your fixed price has to include the margin that your business makes. So let me explain that, right? If you pay your painters $40 an hour and it takes 100 hundred hours, your labor cost is four grand. If the paint is 600 bucks, the paint and the materials, your materials cost is 600. So that's 4,600 plus GST. But you've got to add the margin for your business. Your business is in business to make money. It's not just there to pay painters or pay yourself if you're the painter, right? The business has to make money. You have overheads, you have costs. If you don't have a margin, you're gonna go broke. And I'm telling you, this is the biggest mistake painters make. They, they forget that they have a business and they just pay themselves an hourly rate and cover their hourly rate cost. And it's like, it's not a business, it's a job. And blokes are working their ass out out there, doing everything they can, working hard, doing great work, and not getting paid what they're worth because no one's ever educated them how to run their business properly and how to add their margin. So this is me educating you, right? Add a margin. Don't just work on your hourly rate and don't just work on your materials. If you do that, you'll kick ass. Awesome, ciao for now.